When the G650 was launched in 2008, it represented a unique transition for Gulfstream into the realm of fly-by-wire flight controls. The G650 is unique because it's likely the only fly-by-wire Gulfstream that will ever feature the traditional yoke-operated flight controls. The new G500 and G600 are equipped with side sticks, the control of choice for most fly-by-wire designs. I had the chance to get acquainted with the G650 on a flight from Gulfstream's headquarters in Savannah, Georgia to Columbia, South Carolina and back. On the first leg, I sat in the jump seat to observe. We took off from Savannah's runway 10, fairly light, at just over 67,000 pounds. This was 36,000 pounds lower than the 103,600 pound max takeoff weight. Outside air temperature was 31 degrees centigrade, and the FMS calculated our runway required at about 3,400 feet. On takeoff from Columbia's runway 29, the Rolls-Royce BR725 engines accelerated the big jet quickly as the auto throttle smoothly advanced the power. At 107 knots, I pulled the yoke back to rotate as we accelerated to the 124 knot V2 speed. The controls did indeed feel precise and I was able to put the nose exactly where I wanted and trim for the climb with little extra effort. It took just 15 minutes to reach flight level 430 and we leveled off at flight level 450 for a performance check. With fuel flowing through each engine at 1,480 pounds per hour at ISA minus 7 degrees centigrade, speed settled at Mach 0.91. I slowed down at a lower altitude to get a feel for the G650ER's slow speed handling, and indeed it was crisp at any speed. As we neared Savannah, I steered around some building thunderstorms, carving pathways between the burgeoning cloudscape like a Red Bull racer, turning to avoid hitting one of the raceway markers. I elected to hand fly a visual approach to runway 10, backed up by the glide slope information on the head-up display, which I prefer to use whenever possible. The G650ER felt amazingly solid and responsive, even on short final. After a barely perceptible touchdown of the main gear, I pushed forward, not too quickly, on the yoke, and the nose gear touched down gently. The G650ER exceeded my expectations in all respects, but mainly in the handling. This is among the largest jets that I have flown, and Gulfstream engineers have done a marvelous job making the G650 a pleasure to fly. The precise handling at all speeds and in all configurations makes the G650 and the ER the pinnacle of the Gulfstream flying experience. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.